Okay, campers, 15 minutes left. So time's getting tight. I go to get my desserts and I unmold them. I take the acetate off and they just start drooping. <laughs> the custard's kind of dripping out. It's a hot mess. Martha told me to put sticks in cakes to keep them upright. And of course, I was a bad student and I didn't remember. So I'm thinking, okay, I have to cover up some of this with coconut. It's look better. So right now I'm about to start layering my cake. This is first elimination. Everything's at stake here. This is where I let the other bakers know who I am. Layer it up. Okay, in seven minutes, this layering challenge will be over. So level up, campers, here we go. I am trying so hard to get this done. I'm so nervous. Like, the idea of Martha Stewart eating my dessert, my hands are shaking. Oh, wow, everybody's already planting. I'm a little behind. I look at my buttercream, I taste it. No grains. No grainy Swiss meringue buttercream today for Martha Stewart. I am so grateful. Dan said to start over. Nate, that looks like chocolate heaven over there, brother. <laughs> That's what I was going for. All right, campers, it's now the two-minute warning in your layered dessert challenge. Obi, go. I don't like you. My cake feels ready, so I cut out my rounds. I am giving the judges the ganache they asked for, but I just want to make sure the judges see all the love that I put into this dish. 10, ah. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Woo. Step ah. away from your stations. <laughs> Woo. Good job, guys. All right. All right, counselors and camp director Martha, as you know, the campers had to create layer desserts that featured either a curd, a custard, or a ganache. All right, Keela, come on up. I told her in the mentoring session to use a little skewer until it's chilled, and she obviously forgot it's that so part. My ingredient was custard, and I decided to make a mini coconut custard cake with toasted coconut and passion fruit curd. Martha taught me to use gelatin uh, to help set my curd, and I did do that. But the one piece of advice that I forgot to do was to put sticks to keep things upright. Other than the avalanche, I think the flavors of this were successful. Your passion fruit curd is bright, it's tangy, it was so flavorful. Not uh, remembering, I guess that you, you were probably rushed and didn't use the skewer to stop the avalanche. We <laughs> called it the avalanche today. We talked about this avalanche, <laughs> and did. here we are. But I think a good dessert. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I feel pretty embarrassed, because that was a huge oversight on my part. All right, Brian, tell us what your layered element was, and then what dessert you made. My layered element was a curd, and I did a lime coconut cake. So you have a coconut chiffon cake that I put lime simple syrup over, and then I did a lime curd and a coconut Swiss meringue buttercream, and then some toasted coconut as well. The lime curd really is the star of the cake. It's bright, it's tangy, it has that nice flavor punch in your mouth. This Swiss buttercream is what Swiss buttercream should be. It's, right. it's silky, it's smooth, it melts in your mouth. What happens once the cake is on the plate, all of the curd falls out, and it's it's almost like yeah, a sauce on the cake. Right. Did you put any gelatin in the curd? Mm-mm. It's just egg. That was one of the little hints that I gave to Catherine when she came over for our mentoring. We put a little bit of gelatin in the curd. Oh, really? That way it sets really nicely in an even layer. OK. Unfortunately for me, the cake layers, which are holding all of those flavors together, it's just a bit dense. It's, okay. it's kind of bordering on gummy. It's very heavy for a chiffon cake, Okay. I think. Yeah. It sounds like I went a little more dense than I normally would. How'd it go? go? It was mixed. In this type of competition, you're only as good as your last bake. And one of us does have to go. And I know I've put out some stuff today that I'm not super proud of.